Hey guys, I'm gonna give an inside look to all of my expenses as a web designer and a Webflow developer. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, I want to say, don't look at me and say like, oh, I need all of this stuff to build a successful web design, web flow development business. You do not need this stuff. This is just added bonuses that you add as the business grows, but it is absolute, 99% of this is absolutely unnecessary to start. So probably the biggest payments that I have on a yearly basis is my Webflow account. I have a, a paid pro account plan. I have um, about five or six different personal or business websites that I pay for. So you pay each, it, it, you pay for both the site plans and the paid account plans. And the paid account plan for me will probably turn into a team account plan within the next six months. So um, I pay well over 500 to a thousand, I probably pay over a thousand bucks for that on a yearly basis. Adobe Creative Cloud, I pay for all the Adobe products. I know some people use Figma just because I use uh, the video editor, the Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, it'll be Illustrator, Photoshop. I use all of those. So I just ended up using Adobe XD because it's included in that and it kind of works together well with the rest of them. So I think I pay like 60 bucks a month for that. For emails, I have two emails. So I have like six bucks a month each for my Google Workspace account. So that's about 12 bucks a month. I also pay for a premium Font Awesome account. I don't know if I'm gonna to continue to do that, um, but for now I've got a Font Awesome account. I don't even know how much I pay for that. Probably like 100 or 200 bucks a month if I were to guess, but in all honesty, I don't know and I probably should know. I also pay for stock photos and stock videos. I have a premium account to Storyblocks, which is audio, video, and photography. I use the audio probably the most for stock, um, stock audio. Most of the audio that you hear in my videos is from Storyblocks. Um, and then I also use some photography and video as well, but the photography isn't as great. Um, and then on client websites, I also offer for some of my packages, premium stock photos. So anywhere from, you know, probably three to seven photos I'll use on a single website. And each of those photos is, I don't know, 15 to 30 bucks each, somewhere around there. I also offer SEO services and I kind of switch between softwares depending on where I'm at and what I'm feeling. But typically it's something like SEMrush or Ahrefs and that they just raised the price and I think it's up towards like 150 to 200 bucks now. Um, if I remember correctly, um, and then Ahrefs is like a tiny bit cheaper, but I prefer SEMrush. So SEMrush is another expense. And then Zoom, I also do my video calls through Zoom. I've kind of switched over to Google Meet because it's free or it's included with my workspace account and it just makes a little bit more sense. But right now I have a Zoom set up with my, my Calendly integration. Um, so I pay Oh boy, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks a month for that. There's also some miscellaneous software that I pay for. Um, one of them is like Verge 3D. It's a 3D software where you can embed um, and add 3D scenes to your websites. Um, so I paid a one-time fee of 300 bucks for that. And then uh, there's also like a $100 fee per year if you wanna keep the updates going. So for accounting and you know keeping track of my expenses, I use two things. I use Hello Bonsai that was recommended by uh, Peyton Clark Smith of Pay Digital. He uses Hello Bonsai and he, you know, he, he gave it a high, a very high recommendation of it. So I started using that as well. It's very good for sending invoices, but not only that, it's sending invoices and keeping track of what's been paid and what hasn't. And then you can also do your proposals and your contracts through it, which makes it super easy. The one thing I wish it had a little bit better um, was the uh, uh, an integration with something like TurboTax. I don't think they have an integration like that, which is why I still have QuickBooks self-employed. Um, so Hello Bonds, I pay, I think 20 bucks a month. And then QuickBooks, I pay eight or nine bucks a month for the self-employed. And they have two things that are better. One, the TurboTax integration. And then they also, in my opinion, they track transaction, transactions a little bit better. And you can set rules a little bit easier in QuickBooks uh, over Hello Bonsai. But if you have an accountant, Hello Bonsai, you probably just use that and not worry about um, a, a TurboTax integration. Another expense that I have is the co-working space that I work out of. So right now I'm in a private office, but usually I'm working outside uh, in the open space and I pay about 120 bucks a month for that. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading soon, whether I move into a, a house and I'll set up a studio in there, or if I get another apartment, I'll rent out an office space where I can have a personal office space and I don't have to you know, set up the lights and the camera and the audio and all that for every single space that I go to. But for now, I spend 120 bucks a month for the co-working space. 
Um, another expense is books that I buy. Um, I haven't bought any books this year, but I think I bought like five books last year. Um, and um, those, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks for each book that I buy. Um, just another small expense. But it's a good reminder because it's an investment into the business into the business and another investment in the business is courses. I know some people are huge on buying courses. They buy the, you know, this course, that course, the, you know, anything they can get their hands on. Me personally, I don't buy courses very often, but if there's one course that I did buy, and that, in fact, this is the only course I have ever bought since I started the business. And that is the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the Web Design Sales, I think it's Web Design Sales Mastery by Pate Academy. Again, that's by Peyton Clark Smith. Um, he used to do door-to-door -door sales for pest control, I believe. Um, and he's good at sales. And you gotta be good at sales if you're gonna run a business. And that was kind of one of the things that I thought like, you know, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at designing and developing, but I need to get a little bit better at sales. So I purchased his course. Um, I think I bought it on a Black Friday sale. I can't remember what it costed. I think he sells it for like 300 bucks normally. Um, so I would assume it's something around there, but I just, honestly, I don't remember. Um, but I, I'm super happy I made it. Be I bought the course because it's been a big investment into my business and it's helped me sell a little better. Every so often I'll buy a new font. Um, I bought a new font for my Red Panther website website and I'll also buy some fonts for client websites if they're needed. Again, this one is, is something that I, I want to stress. You do not need this stuff, but it's just added stuff that I've added because I'm investing in the business. And as the business grows, I'm going to start expanding my services. So new equipped, equipment is something that I've kind of placed a heavy investment on over the last few months. Bought a new camera. It's the Sony a7C. I got new lighting equipment, which you can't see, but it's all around me here. Um, I'm going to be buying a new microphone because this audio probably isn't the best. I'm going to be buying new sound panels for the new office that I go into. Um, so, I mean, $2,000 for the camera, you know, 300 bucks for the lighting equipment. And I had some additional light equi equipment that was also 200 bucks. Sound panels will probably be a hundred, 200 bucks. Um, if I want to cover like the whole wall space, um, Microphones are super expensive, especially for cameras. You know, I, I think I have the Blue Snowball, which was like a couple hundred bucks, but if, or sorry, it's the, it's the Yeti. Um, I used to have the Snowball, but if you want a, a camera microphone and you want it to be high quality, you're gonna need to spend a grand, 500 bucks to a grand to get a really, really nice one. Um, and a lavalier if you want like a backup. So this equipment is all stuff that's just like added bonuses that you don't need. But as I continue to grow, video is gonna become a really big part of my business. Um, I've got a course in the works. Keep an eye out for that, um, but the, the course is gonna need high quality equipment to make it look professional. I also just bought a Wacom tablet. Um, my wrist was feeling it. I play baseball, I do frisbee golf, I play tennis, I bowl. I do all sorts of activities that are very heavy on the wrist. And a couple months ago, I started to really feel my wrist having some pain, and it's the winter outside. I haven't even been outside, and I'm already starting to feel pain. So I bought a Wacom tablet. I can use that with my left hand rather than my right hand, because I write left-handed, but I use my my mouse right-handed. So I bought a Wacom tablet. That was like 400 bucks. Super happy that I bought it. But again, you don't need it. It's just something that's nice to have. And then I also have a standing desk back home, which will be included in the, the new studio that I set up. I think that was like three, four, maybe 500 bucks for the standing desk. Um, but again, it's super nice. And then there'll also be a chair included with that. I'll probably get like a nice gaming chair. One thing I do wanna mention with all this equipment that I wanna stress is not necessary, but it's just nice to have. There's this thing called perceived value that you get from clients or that clients will give to you. And it, 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 there's a big difference between going on camera and having a cardboard box behind you and having a nice studio behind you. Um, it, it looks more legit, you look more professional, uh, the services that you provide will be perceived as higher quality even if they're not. Again, if you're just really good at sales, be really good at sales, don't worry about all this stuff. But for me, I just wanna up that perceived value that I give to my clients. I do provi provide really good quality work and I want that to be perceived by the client. So if I have to pay a little extra for my office setup or for my camera setup, so that when I go on a Zoom call, they're gonna think that I'm a little more professional, so be it, because I'm gonna do that and I want them to perceive the work is as high quality as it is that I provide. All right, I hope this video helps. I don't know if I covered all my expenses, but you can see there's a pretty long list there. And it, you know you can look at all this stuff and realize why websites cost how much they cost. It's because 
websites are not as cheap as people think they might be, especially when you run a business and you actually want to grow and invest in it. So um, yeah, hope this helps and we'll see you in the next one.